Hey guys, what's up? So many of us like we get confused when it comes to remembering the parts of Indian Constitution. हमें याद ही नहीं रहता कि part one कौन सा है या part seven कौन सा है या फिर इसके बाद कौन आएगा. So if in one go, if you can remember all the parts of the Constitution and if you can write it in your essay, या फिर main answer में या फिर prelims में if they ask like so it becomes very easy for you to remember. So here are some tricks to remember parts of the Indian Constitution. This is presented by me, Roman Sani. and if you feel these courses are helping in any way you can like uh, just like uh, rate recommend and review this course and you can follow me on an academy on this link so when it comes to the parts of the indian constitution you have to remember that part 1 has article 1 to 4 that is the union and its territories part 2 is like citizenship from article 5 to 11 then part 3 is article 12 to 35 fundamental rights part 4 is 36 to 51 direct principles of state policy Part 4A is 51A fundamental duties and it was added by 42nd amendment act of 1976 part 5 is hardcore union parliament president prime minister etc from 52 to 151 part 6 is 152 to 237 the state government now part 7 is no longer there part 8 is union territories from article 239 to 241 242 article is not there in constitution anymore part 9 was added by 73rd constitutional amendment act of 1992 the panchayats part 9a was added by municipalities and right now we have a new part for cooperative society as well so just remember that i have not included that in the mnemonic because while i was reading it was not there part 10 is scheduled and tribal areas part 11 is relationship between the union and states part 12 is finance property contracts and suits part 13 is trade commerce and intercourse part 14 is services under the union and state part 14 is administrative tribunal 15 is election 16 is special provision reservation of sc st anglo indians 17 is related to the official language part 18 is very very important it deals with emergency provisions part 19 is deals with miscellaneous provisions immunity of president legislature part 20 deals with amendment of the constitution part 21 deals with temporary transitional and special provision and finally we have the part 22 that is short title commencement and authoritative so how do you remember all these parts so i have weaved a small story just remember that unicef ka director just imagine it's something there unicef is a body of united nations so unicef director has certain duties towards uniting sudan territories sudan is a country which was divided in southern sudan and north sudan it was one of the last con- newest country of the world is south sudan and uh, just imagine that prime minister of sudan is a tribal and he is a relatively rich person he is financially well off and he is a trader and he provides a lot of services and his awesome administration got him reelected when he made reservations for a minority minority ka naam hai lemet or like jaise muslims hai other minority buddhist six वैसे just imagine in africa there is a tribe called lemet and unke liye usne reservation ke provision kar diye theek hai so part 9 bhi i am again saying it is the cooperative society just remember that okay so that is not included in this mnemonic so you can just remember that out of like separately so here we go unicef director has certain duties towards uniting sudan's territories its prime minister is a tribal relatively a rich trader providing a lot of services and his awesome administration got him reelected where he made reservations for minorities lemets so if you just repeat it like five six times you will remember all the parts of the indian constitution i personally guarantee u is for union and its territories that is the part 1 C is for citizenship. F is for fundamental rights. D is for direct principles of state policy. U is for uh, here like this duty here is for fundamental duties. I did not add it because it was part four, so it might get confusing. So duty here is for fundamental duties. U is uniting is for union government. S is for the state government. T is for the part eight that is union territories. We don't need to remember part seven. its prime minister p is for panchayats m is for municipalities he is a tribal so scheduled in tribal areas again like include the cooperative society as well relatively a rich trader means relations between the union and states rich means finance wise trader means trade wise that is the part 13 and providing a lot of services now services here means like trade commerce uh, like services under the union and states that is the part 14 already trader here means like trade commerce and intercourse rich here means part 12 that is finance property contracts and suits administration here means part 14 uh, that is administrative tribunal again added by 42nd amendment act e here means elected means elections and reservations is for 
एस सी एस टी एंग्लो इंडियंस एक्सेप्ट्रा दैट इज़ ए स्पेशल प्रोविजन पार्ट सेवनटीन इज लैंग्वेजेज पार्ट एटीन इज एमरजेंसी प्रोविजन दैट इज ई पार्ट नाइनटीन इज मिसलिनियस पार्ट ट्वेंटी इज अमेंडमेंट ऑफ द कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन पार्ट ट्वेंटी वन इज टेम्प्रेरी ट्रांजिशनल एंड स्पेशल प्रोविजन एंड फाइनली पार्ट ट्वेंटी टू इज शॉर्ट टाइटल कमेंसमेंट एंड अथॉरिटेटिव सो दिस स्टोरी विल हेल्प यू रिमेंबर ऑल दी पार्ट्स थैंक यू फॉर वॉचिंग दिस लेसन हैव एन ऑसम डे